Hey guys and what just happened? The iPhone 14 first look is here thanks to Jonathan Prosser. What in the blue hell is going on? We'll be taking a look at all the details plus what does it mean for the iPhone 13 series which is officially coming on September 14th and of course for the people who are thinking about the upgrade well smash that subscribe button and let's get it on. So John Prosser showed off the iPhone 14's design based on a real life iPhone 14 prototype that he has seen of course for obvious reasons he didn't show off in his video. This is very similar to what he did with the Google Pixel 6 series a couple of months back where he looked at the Pixel 6 prototype and showed us some renders which later on turned out to be true. But this however is different from anything else because the iPhone 14 is about a year away from now. Most likely there will be some changes, it's too early but I will say it is very much spot on based on what we have already heard about Apple's big iPhone 14 for 2022. For the first time ever we have a tiny small punch hole on the iPhone screen which looks so much better so much cleaner than the notch this is hands down the biggest design change to an iphone since the original iphone 10. what's even more incredible is that it's going to be the first iphone with face id under the display, not the camera, we can still see the punch hole, but the actual Face ID True Depth system is under that beautiful OLED display. Hopefully it will work just like Face ID works on the current iPhones and maybe even faster. As I've said earlier, Apple has a full year to perfect this technology. As for the design, it's going to be thicker with no camera bump at all. We have seen some form of camera bump since the iPhone 6 and it has only gotten more noticeable as we have seen with the current iPhone generation. So this new completely polished boxy design with completely flushed camera system, it looks pretty stunning. Now here's the thing, what does it mean for the iPhone that Apple will announce in a few days which is going to be the iPhone 13 lineup? Well, it's pretty freaking obvious that the iPhone 13 is more of a S upgrade. While there are some exciting things like the cinematic mode, 120Hz on iOS, the new ultra wide angle lens, Astro Night mode, but overall it's still a S upgrade. Nothing major is happening when it comes to the design. So if you're using the iPhone 12 lineup, then understandably it's going to be a good decision to stay on these models. If you're using the iPhone 11 series, especially the iPhone 11, the one with the LCD display, then in my opinion, the iPhone 13 Pro models are bringing some good things to the table and I definitely think that is upgrade worthy. Lastly, as I said, things could still change. It's a year long release time until we see the iPhone 14. So now as I said, it's a year long time until we see the iPhone 14. So things can still change. But based on this prototype, it's pretty obvious that Apple is planning the biggest jump in its design since the iPhone 10 from 2017. Next year, the iPhone will be reborn. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. After seeing the iPhone 14's first look, first prototype look. Will you wait a year or are you gonna buy the iPhone 13 lineup? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.